we really weren't thinking it was going to be that big of a deal um, as far as financial impact and what it would do to the client population out there at large. But obviously that, uh, that changed pretty quick. One day we were working normally, the next day we were shut down. As business bankers, you know, we, we meet with our clients face to face. We're going to their businesses, we're, you know, talking to them, seeing what they have going on, and all of that stopped. We knew that we were going to have to act, and so we started having the conversations about how do we comply with what we're being told to do and still keep our business operations open for our clients. I had thoughts of what is this going to look like for our business clients and how shutting down the economy and, and everybody staying at home, what's that going to mean to these folks? In order to continue to service our clients, um, we had to move quickly and that meant getting people set up to work remotely. It meant involving a number of areas of our bank to make that happen. And I was incredibly impressed by the teamwork that was shown to get people up and running. Our approach really was always from the perspective of taking care of our associates. That was our number one priority, was to take care of Capital City Bank Associates. It was nothing for me to get a phone call out of the blue from Bill Smith or Tom Barron or Beth Corum saying, hey, how are you doing today? What's happening? Are we good? And that just meant a lot. Just those little small things add up to a lot of big things. So it was important that Communication stayed tight, but our team was great. Our retail associates handled themselves in a way that is indescribable. People came in, they appreciated what the bank was doing to try to acknowledge the work that they did. And most recently, uh, at the end of the year, we recognized every associate who had been with us during some phase of the pandemic, we recognized every retail associate for the commitment that they gave to keeping our bank open and keeping our clients helped and satisfied. With the beginning of the Paycheck Protection Program, it was all new and we knew it was coming and it was coming very quickly. Clients, you know, they were very, very anxious as you can understand, you know, so it would be, it'd be at mid midnight and I, they would, they would be emailing us, calling. I would be returning calls and texts at, you know, one of them I called at 2 a.m. just to let them know it's good, you're good now. We're, we're, we got your money has been allocated. We're going to get it to you. Um, it was uh, it was pretty intense. We're rolling things out as we're still getting or waiting for guidance on what that's going to look like, you know, but yet still serving the clients. And we had uh, associates really from all of our entire footprint to come together to put this together for clients because we were we were going to participate and we we just knew we had to for our clients. There was no you know, this is my job, this is your job, that was all gone. So the teamwork definitely is what made it work. We were stronger as a team, stronger together, working with people that you didn't always work with every single day. We were a hugely strong team that just like the regular family don't always see eye to eye, but we all came together for what was the right thing to do. I think we learned the true value of teamwork because regardless of where you worked within the bank, um, you had to rely on other areas to make sure that uh, you were successful in the work that you did. Managing COVID was, it was a full-time job. It was like having two jobs at the bank. And so Leanne and I became known as Pam Ann. And um, I really cherished the friendship that we developed. I am so proud to be the aunt of Pam Ann. She's more than a friend to me. We're, we're buddies. We are connected at the heart. Relationships uh, have deepened. They've become more personal and more professional. Our heart was always there in the right place to take care of our folks, our, our associates, and each other. And uh, I can truly say that was one of the most beautiful things that came out of COVID. If I look back on um, clients who sought me out or would see me and make comments, um, I'm probably most proud of hearing y'all really stepped up and helped me in a time of need. Having clients call and just say, you guys came through, thank you so much for making this happen. And 
you know, all the team received those phone calls, and I think I speak for the entire team when I say that made it worthwhile. Clearly there were times when it was just so overwhelming, but in retrospect, I wouldn't change it because it was such a learning experience for me. You know, it stretched me professionally, it stretched me personally. Um, I, w I would not change it. There's a handful of different things, I think, over the years that I've been involved in with the bank that have made me feel like, you know what, this is a good place to be, and PPP is real high on that list. I think about the number of clients that we were able to help, and how even today, in working with them, they will talk about, you know, what you were able to do for me through PPP and, and that time saved my business, you know, um, and I'm very proud to work for Capital City Bank. I'm glad that I work for Capital City Bank every single day, and I was before COVID. COVID just strengthened that a little bit because you saw the bank respond in a different way, and I was very proud to be part of Capital City Bank.